Hey, Next.js Conf, welcome to the Sanity.io booth. My name's Brian, I'm one of the DevRels here at Sanity. And I'm Cap, also one of the DevRels at Sanity. So if you wanna talk with us, we're gonna be available in the Discord in the Sanity.io room, but for the booth, I thought we'd do something a little bit different uh, instead of your kind of normal tech conference booth. We kind of thought we'd do a challenge. I'm gonna build a Next.js uh, and Sanity blog in the time it takes Cap to do, wait, what now? I'm gonna feed five animals, five treats. So pressure's on, Brian. Not everyone has five animals to feed, but yeah. with, with, with Sanity and with Cap, there's a, a plethora of animals. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna do that. But before we do, I want you to make, I wanna make sure that you know that you can go to sanity.io slash nextjsconf to get a two times quota free plan for sanity.io so you can try things out and use the API pretty much as much as you want, especially with cool static routes in Next.js. Mm -hmm. So before we dive in, we do have some ground rules for our challenge because animals tend to eat fast. Uh, Cap can only feed one animal at a time and she has to have that animal finish eating before she moves on to the next in the relay, right? Yeah, and that's gonna be kind of difficult because once they get the treat, they're gonna be like, I need more. And so I gotta, Fend them off, but yeah, one animal, one tree at a time, and I can't move on till that one's finished. Yep. And as you can see, I already have a little bit of a setup going. I have a Next.js app running locally. I figure no one wanted to see me npm install uh, a new uh, a new Next.js installation. So we got that up and running, but it very much does not work yet. The blogs all break, so we are going to pull that information from Sanity, no problem. So, Cap, are the animals ready? Um. Yes, they're in the room with me. It might be a little bit of a challenge to get each of them at one at a time, but let's do this. I think that's a good thing because I need a little help with that. So, uh, so I'm definitely ready. Let's let's go ahead and uh, and get ready to go. Okay, let me flip my camera real quick, and it looks like we have. Okay, hold in... on. I'm gonna get one animal. And here's my, my plate of treats. Each animal gets their particular treat. All right, kiddos, ready? And some of them go faster than the others, so we'll see. Three, two, one, go. So the first thing that I need to do is actually install Sanity inside of this project. I'm not gonna create a new project though. I already have a blog set up in Sanity, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna pull our production data set and I'm gonna put all this inside of a folder called Studio in this project. And I'm gonna use the default blog schema that comes with that. So we're gonna go ahead and start that up. And then I also need to do a little bit of setup using the next Sanity plug, uh, uh, package on NPM. So I'm gonna grab all of this good boilerplate that's already set up for us and for anyone that wants to use uh, Next.js and Sanity. I'm gonna move this into the sanity.js file that I have in my lib directory. Gonna get rid of that last export I didn't need to bring in with me. You can see here we have some uh, some environment variables. I already have those set up as well. Thank you past me and, and not cheating. This is not cheating, this is just preparation. Uh -huh. So we already have this. This is how we're going to connect with our API. And now we're gonna connect with that inside of our index.js file, inside that homepage file. So I, I need to actually create a query first. So I'm gonna say const query equals, then I'm gonna use grok, which is our native query language, to pull in data from the Sanity API. I'm gonna tell it to look for all documents that have a type of post, so all of my blog posts. And then I'm gonna do a projection and actually bring in only the information that I need for this page, which is the title and the slug. And I need the slug format to be slug.current. So I'm gonna go ahead and recast that as we move. Then from there, we need to actually do the fetch. We're gonna bring in a const of posts and that's going to equal on the weight of a get client. And that's from our Sanity, uh, uh, dot js file how are the uh, animals doing over there Cap? i've got three three and a half done three and a half done oh yeah. goodness all right let's keep going so we'll get fetch that data i'm going to fetch the query that i just wrote and then instead of this uh static array down here i'm going to have it be dynamic i'm going to go ahead and pull the posts and put them in here if i've done everything properly when i save this and refresh on the left hand side we now have two blog posts, another winner from Brian and Hello World. You can see when we go over to it though, we don't actually have those blog posts yet. We need to create a dynamic route inside of Next. We have that over here and we do happen to also have boilerplate in the Sanity Next package on NPM. So I'm gonna grab all of that boilerplate, bring it on over. We're gonna adjust a few things in the data that we need. So we don't have a, an excerpt, we're gonna get rid of that. I'm also gonna change my variables a little bit. We're gonna say const and destructure our title and our body down from the 
uh, data.posts.post. And then up here at the top, you can see we have some additional grok stuff we don't need. We're going to get rid of that to keep our con data consistent. We're going to change our content to our body, our cover image to our main image. And then we're going to save this in. And again, if we've done our work properly, we're going to refresh. And now we have the title plugin. in. We don't have the blog post yet. We don't have the body. We need to use the uh, block content for, uh, to React plugin to get our JSON serialized over to be a JSX um, a JSX element. So we're going to put this up up top. We don't need this client here, so we're going to get rid of that from the boilerplate. And I'm going to come down here. We've got our block content JSX. We're going to move that down right beneath our H1 <laughs> and get rid of a little extraneous values, get rid of the article from the article.body, save that in, refresh our page on the left. And you can see here we now have our blog post body pulling in. So we have a homepage. The homepage has two blog posts pulling in from Sanity. They both have blogs written, and then we can go to localhost 3333, which is our Sanity localhost port. You can see here we have a CMS already ready for us. We've got hello Next.js comp here. You can see we're going to change that to be a hello world because we'd rather be more generic than more specific. Publish that in, and we come back over here and go to the home page, and you can see we now have hello world instead of hello Next.js comp, all done before Caps animals ah! could finish eating their treats. Are you done? I am I'm done with the basics. We have a blog up and running locally uh, on Next.js Insanity. Are the uh, are the buns done? No, they're not. You did it quicker than we could. <laughs> so why don't we let the uh, the animals eat? You can probably just give the rest their treats, and we can maybe showcase a few other things since we've got time. Yeah. I hear I hear a cat or something in the background. Yeah, that's a that's a Hilo. <laughs> Hilo is is happy or sad without treats. She she wanted more. She definitely was sad uh, that she only got one. I, I actually give the cats two little small ones, but yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. So you can you might see here already uh, that we did a little prep work, and you can see this little icon here that is Cap hanging out with me in my project. I'm working locally. She's using a live deployed version of the studio, and we get this via the presence API in both sides. But beyond that, we can also see changes. So Cap, hello world, I may have made a mistake and, and made it more generic than it should have been. Can you change this to something a little bit better for us? Yeah, we'll do hello next JS comp. Perfect. And you can see here we have hello world being changed to next JS comp. And we might also want to have an image pulled in here as well. But I only have these three images. It might be super nice if we could have this come from Unsplash. And I could go to unsplash.com, certainly, but that's not cool. That's yeah. uh, maybe we can do a little better if we install a plugin. So let's go ahead and install a Sanity plugin. So we're going to Sanity install, and we're going to install the asset source Unsplash. Once that's done, we're going to have our studio rebuild in the background, and we're automatically going to be able to come in and select an image from Unsplash directly in our studio. So reloaded, I now have this option to select from Unsplash. It pulls up, I can do searches, but maybe we'll just do a quick scroll and ooh, that's an awesome image. That's We're gonna awesome. grab that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that in. You can see it's automatically saving as we go. We're moving from no image to this cool image. And then after I publish that, our changes will go away and we can change things again. Like say we want to crop this image to be a little bit tighter, we mm -hmm. can crop this image like this. And you can see that live in the review changes as well to see how the, the crop and the hotspot changed. Yeah, and on my end, as you're doing that, I can see it happening in the studio. So, so we're all about trying to make collaborative experiences inside the editor possible. And these are all even customizable using uh, React components to make custom diff components. All of that's available in our docs to figure out how you can kind of do that on your own. But I think we also have uh, our yeah. CTO talking here, right, Cap? Yeah, so be sure to check check out the session with our CTO Simon. He's going to be going over a bunch of like new free features and what's in the future for Sanity. So be sure to check that out. Yep, and like like I said at the beginning, we're going to be available in the Discord all conference long. So come by, hang out with me and Cap, and with all the animals that are at uh, Cap's house, uh, as well as. <laughs> Go check out sanity.io slash nextjsconf for that two-time quota plan for free uh, so you can play around and get all those API calls that you could possibly want. Uh, so until we see you in Discord, thanks for stopping by the booth, and we'll see you around. Yeah, thanks, everyone. See you around.